Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. I want to start off by saying thank you to all of our Booster Club members for your many donations and much more your prayers. We visited faraway countries and strange lands. We've even spoken to dignitaries and were detained for spreading the glorious gospel in Cuba. The truth is that the descendants of the 12 tribes of Israel were scattered throughout the world. Help us on our journey as we continue to raise up the nation of Israel. 12 tribes worldwide. Join or donate today. Shalom. So right now we're up and showing our people who they are according to the Bible and why we go through what we go through as a nation of people. So right here, if you look up on this side, this is the side right here. One side of the sign you see what God calls us, our biblical name. On the other side of the sign you see what was called in slavery. Now, however, you might be older than this term. African American, that's a new thing part of the youth. Because why? In 1987 is when we first was called African American. Before that, we was called Negro, we was called Color, we was called Nigga, we was called all these different terms. In fact, this is Bible prophecy that these things are going to happen to you. So from there, give me Deuteronomy 11 verse 26. So what are we here to do? We are to show you what happened to the children of Israel. So in America, you'll be what? So-called so -called African American, right? That's what they call you, right? But you are from the tribe of Judah. The children of Israel, something happened to them in the wilderness. We had a choice whether to serve God or whether to not serve God. And this is, this is what the Most High told us. Read what you got. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 11, verse 26. Read. Behold, I said before you this day a blessing and a curse. So he's speaking to these people. He's not speaking to everybody. He was speaking to the children of Israel. Hold that Deuteronomy 1 and 1. Let me prove it. Let me prove it. Everything we should ask. Because our pastor has been deceiving us a long time right now. Right. They've been teaching nothing but sermons, saying God is great, God is good. That's all you know. God is good. That's it. That's it. That's how a lot of people learn in this church. And they're learning this. They're learning that devil right there, that deceiver, because that's what we taught in church. You know? But God said what? Read what you got, Deuteronomy 1 and 1. Read. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 1, verse 1. Read. These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel. So the book of Deuteronomy is written to the children of Israel. Right. So now let's see what the Lord said to the children of Israel. Deuteronomy 11 and verse 26. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 11 verse 26. Uh -huh. Behold, I said before you this day a blessing uh -huh. and a curse. So he said, I said before you this day, Israel, a blessing and a curse. Read. A blessing. A blessing if. If what? If ye obey the commandments of the Lord your God. So that if, that means if our nation kept the commandments of the Lord our God, we was going to be blessed as a nation. He said a blessing was going to come over you as a nation of people. Read on. Which I command you this day. Uh -huh. And a curse. But it was going to be a curse. If what? If ye. If. That, uh, that word again. If. Read. If ye will not obey the commandments of the Lord your God. Will not obey the commandments of our Lord our God, but do what? Read. But turn aside out of the way uh -huh. which I command you this day. To do what? To go after other gods. Hold on, wait a minute. Hey, you remember we were just talking about the pastor, right? right. Who is this man? Yeah, who is that man? I don't know. You know who this man is? But hey, you know this, this is an apostle. Right. This the imposter. Yeah. Because look, you see, the, you see the same image in church. Uh -huh. The same exact image. Guess what? This is a real man by the name of Cesra Borgia. He was painted by Leonardo da Vinci in the 1400s and put up as Christ during the Renaissance era. That's who this man is. The son of Pope Alexander VI. You want to know what come with this man? Learn all the philosophies that we learn in our churches, like Sunday worship. Can I find Sunday worship in the Bible? No. Can I find Christmas in the Bible? No. Can I find Easter in the Bible? No. Can I find Fourth of July in the Bible? No. <laughs> but we do this stuff, right? right. This is stuff, stuff that we are taught. Our holiday, you know what I mean? You know what a, a holiday is supposed to mean? Holy day. Right. God called them holy days. Like there's different uh, uh, holidays, holy days that we're supposed to celebrate in the Bible. Right. But today's land, we keep this under that philosophy of that man. So God said, if the children of Israel follow after other gods and follow not him, curses was going to happen to them. 
What you think we did? Did we do what God say, or we follow after other gods? Follow other gods. We follow after other gods. Deuteronomy 28, verse 15. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15. Uh -huh. But it shall come to pass. So now, this is what came to pass. So this is Moses speaking to the children of Israel for telling them the future of what was going to happen. Back then, we just heard it. But now, we lived out the prophecy. That's how we know this is a true book. It said, this was going to happen to you, O children of Israel. We, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, uh -huh. to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I commanded this day, that what? That all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake so thee. So we know we, we experienced the curses because we did not do what God said. So what's one of the curses? Verse 16, read. Verse 16, curse shall thou be in the city. In America. It's not us as African Americans so-called cursed in the cities. Are we not getting shot down unjustly in the cities? Are we not having gang banging in our cities? Do we out. not have whoremongering baby mama and baby daddies in our community? Do we not have drug dealing and selling drugs right now in our cities? This is what we got going on. Bob, the Bible said we were going to be cursed in the cities. We also last high first fire. This type of stuff goes on in our communities. God said we're going to be cursed in the cities. Read. And cursed shall thou be in the field. Now, what about the field? What fields will we be cursed in? What God. fields? I ain't learning the word God of God. Field. He learned the word of God. God. I'll tell you what. God. The cotton field. Yeah. You know what my yeah. say? We'll pick a cotton, sun up to sundown. I'm telling you, the Bible said we was going to be cursed in the city. That's what you see today, and we cursed in the field. We was picking cotton, and today what we do? We work a nine to five. We work in, uh, 16 hours a day for $7.50, for $9 an hour. You got to think about it. My, uh, McDonald's is a multi-billion dollar company. Bring it out. But why did they only pay their pay they employees $7.50? You see what I'm saying? That's a multi-billion dollar company. Right. They can pay every employee 20, 30 dollars if they want to. Bring it out. I'm telling you, it'll show you what. We are still cursed in the field. Right. right now, you still cursed. You still, all your work that you put in, you are still cursed as a nation. That's what we go through right now as a nation of people. Okay, what else happened to us? Verse 32. Read what you got. Verse 32. Uh-huh. Thy sons. So we said, our sons and what? And thy daughter uh -huh. shall be given unto another people. Hold on, wait, hold on, wait. So your name is, you said Clay, right? Cleo, right? What's your last name? Smith. Smith, right? So Cleo and his forefathers was given to the Smith plantation. Right. It said our sons, our sons and our daughters shall be given unto another nation of people. Hold on, wait. What do we read? What, what do we read? Is this the Quran? No, sir. Is this the book of the dead? No, sir. No, we reading the Bible. Yeah. The Bible said that we was going to be given it to another nation of people. That's, right. That's what you see today. That's why we got Smith Plantation, the Johnsons. The, all this, we think this, uh, when we, we celebrate family reunions, we think that's really us. No, that was branded in our forefathers' back. Right. And you belong to the Smiths. That's what happened to us. I'm telling you, man, the Bible is a real true book. And this is our true black history. Read what you got. And thine eyes shall look and fail with longing for them all the day long. Have you ever seen that movie 12 Years a Slave? Or Roots? I tried. Or Roots? Tried. Yeah, you try, yeah, right? It make you mad, right? Yeah, yeah, the movies it. make you mad. I, I, but I hey, it. I'm telling you, the movies make us mad, but we gotta see the visual of what happened to us. The Bible said our sons and daughters, we was gonna be crying for our sons and daughters all day long. If you watch the movie 12 Years a Slave, you see her crying for her daughter. Why? Because they took her daughter and sold her to another, to another master in another state. She couldn't do nothing about it. Our people couldn't do nothing about it. Read on. And there shall be no might in thine hand. Like the Bible said, there ain't going to be no might in your hand. You can't do nothing. Now we got the mindset. They told you you're black. And black ain't nothing but a color. We really different shades of brown. Yes, but now sir. we say we black. They told you that. And then they told you it was African American. African Americans named a two different Caucasian men. Leo Skippy Africanus and America Vespucci. Two, black, two white men can't make no black, baby. Right. So guess what? Why are we calling ourselves African American? Then they told you it was colored. They told you it was colored. What is colored? Do you ever see anything made in Negro? Made in Negro. Yo, you look at the tag, made in Negro. No. I'm telling you, our people are destroyed. We. 
The book of Isaiah, chapter 3, verse 12. Read. As for my people. Right now, as of God, as for God's people. Read. Children are their oppressors. Hey, who, who are we mostly getting shot down by? Our own people. And they are children. They're young adults. 24, hey, 16 to 24 years old killing each other. You just read about it earlier today. Somebody was found killed, dead. I'm telling you, you read about this all the time in Little Rock, in North Little Rock, in Conway, in these different areas in Central Arkansas. You read about this in America, in, Ch in Chicago. On Father's Day weekend, you had 106 people got uh, got shot. On Father's Day weekend, that was supposed to be a time where everybody's supposed to come together, the fathers supposed to be fathers, take care of their kids. But the Bible said do that every day anyway. But these are the days they've been doing, they, they chose to do it. But you see these things happen to us. Why? Because what? Read it again. As for my people, children are their oppressors. Right now, we're oppressing one another. Read. And women. And what? And women. And what? And women. Women do what? Rule over them. Yeah, you got women ruling over them. Right. What? That, what the, why? Why is that? Because you because he was raised by Big Mama? Or he was raised by his mama? Right. What was the daddy at? The daddy was not there. My father was not in my life. A lot yeah. of these brothers' fathers was not in their life. Right. The Bible said this was going to happen to our people. Women rule over them. And when women rule over them, guess what? It creates what? An, an emotional spirit. Right. So the Bible said we got to go to our enemies and food, water, shelter, nakedness, and everything. What else you think we went to our enemies for? We went to our enemies to learn about God. Right. Give me that Deuteronomy 28, verse 64. Uh, I'm going to show you that. Because guess what? It's Allah. Is that the God? No. But guess what? A lot of people follow Islam. They follow that. They follow the Arab man. They follow, that's, a, that's, that's another a, a slave master that we had during the sub-Saharan slave trade with slaves in Saudi Arabia. We were slaves in Africa and they was forcing us to be Islam. This is what God said that you was gonna happen to you. This is one of the other curses. Read what you got. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 64. Read. And the Lord shall scatter thee. That's what happened to us. We were scattered. You read this, you see this sign? We were scattered all throughout the earth. Read. Among all people. We were scattered among all people. Some of us, I wish I had the uh, Chinese side, but some of us was put in this, in, was went this way during a Silk Road slave trade. Right. We were sold in slavery in China. That's why now today, if you type in Afro Chinese, you're gonna see black people in China. Right. If you, if you type in Afro Arabian, you're gonna see black people in Saudi Arabia. The Bible said you're gonna be so, gonna be uh, scattered among all people. Read. From the one end of the earth, even unto the other. You know they say the first man. They say, they say the, you, we say we Africans, right? A lot of us say we African, right? You know the first, the, the slave ship, the first spot where you took a, a black man from, you wanna know where it was at? Spain. Right. It was not Africa. So the Bible said we're gonna be scattered among all people from one end of the earth. We, and there thou shalt serve other gods. And when we get there, we're gonna serve other gods. Right here, you see, this is an example of another God. Right. This is what our people serve, we serve other gods. But now the Bible gonna be specific what gods we serve, right? Which neither thou nor thy fathers have known. This is the gods that our people worship today, read. Even wood. Wood. What do a lot of our people wear on their neck? A cross. The Bible has nothing to do with that. Right. Guess what? If my brother got shot by an AK-47, you think I'm gonna walk around with an AK-47 on my neck? Bring it out. No. But uh, guess what? Our Lord got crucified on the cross and a lot of people wore the cross on their neck. That don't make sense. The Bible says our people worship the what? Even wood. Our people worship wood under this man right here. Right. Under Sandra Porgel, who was put up as Christ in the 1400s, who is not Christ. We worship wood, we, and stone. And stone. Because in Islam, they worship the Kaaba stone. Right. That's what they do. What are we reading? We reading the Bible, the Holy Bible. Yes, God yes. prophesied in the Bible that what? The children of Israel was going to go into slavery to another nation of people. And that nation of people is going to give them other gods, which our forefathers never known. Wood and stone. That's what we serve today in captivity. What nation made you do that? Read. Verse 49. 
The Lord shall bring a nation against thee from far. So this is going to be a nation from far as what? From the end of the earth. Uh -huh. As swift as the eagle flyer. Hold on, wait, hold on. Let's get that sign. Put that sign there. Put that sign, what? Right here? Right there, I got it. praise. Hold that up. Read it again. As swift as the eagle flying. So, you look here. We was in slavery in Greece. Guess what, that, guess what the symbol of that money? The eagle. We served in Rome. Their symbol is what? The eagle. You served in Spain. What was their symbol? What? The eagle. We serve in America. What's their symbol? What? The eagle. That's right. What are we reading? The Bible. Yeah, it's Bible right. prophecy that this was going to happen to you. So-called blacks and Hispanics and Native Americans who are the children of Israel. We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.